gambling bet, 16 to 1, that one of the pregame announcers will be disgraced when Henry Kissinger reveals that Musburger in German means he who occasionally dresses like Diana Ross. <laughs> Far out bet, but you can get 416 to 1 on that. The odds. Well, let's see what else we got here. The odds are 4 to 1. That's not a bad bet. That at halftime, a 500 piece marching band will form with the shape of a giant RTD bus and total itself. <laughs> Here's a 98 to 1 on this one. Wow. 98 to 1 that sportscaster Irv Cross will break down and tearfully admit that he is Mayor Tom Bradley's love child. Oh, 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 oh. Shocking. A silly bet also, yeah. completely. <laughs> I'm betting on this one. I get 200 to 1 on this, but one buck for 200? Yeah. 200 to 1 when a lineman during the game is kneed in the groin instead of a grunt. He will sing the love song from a chorus long line, What I Did for Love. <laughs> Odds 151 that a player on the sidelines will give away that he was born out of wedlock by looking at the camera, raising his index finger and saying, Hi, to whom it may concern. <laughs> Want a nice bet here? Seven yeah. to one? Seven to one that after the game, President Reagan will phone the locker room and say to the winning quarterback, do you have any idea what happened in Iran? <laughs> you can get 50 to 1 on that. But those are some of the interesting some of Some amusing, some not so amusing. <laughs> Who's your bet? Did you, uh, I've got the Giants. You have a wager on the game? I have a small wager, yes. Did you have to give away nine and a half? Yes. You did? Yeah. Small. What's, what's a small wager for you? I mean, probably... No, no, $100. Well, that's a pretty good yeah. size wager. Yeah, okay. We'll be back after this commercial with uh, Richard Pryor, the judge, and Dr. Robert Ballard. So stay where you are. I switched to Carrie because... Carrie is so... <laughs> <laughs> I am a big fan of Richard Pryor's, and uh, when he gets cooking, it is impossible not to laugh. He's got a new movie out, very funny. It's already a hit called Critical Condition. Would you welcome Richard Pryor? You go out dancing much? No, I haven't been dancing in 30 years. You're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Last time you were right at the end of the show, you turn around and everybody says what they're going to do, you know, I've been so and so. You turn around and say, oh, by the way, I'm getting married tomorrow. And we went off the air. Yeah. And people came up to me and said, was he kidding or was he putting you on? No. We never followed up on that. No, I... But I know what happened, so why don't you tell everybody what happened? Well, I got married. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I did, I did. I got married, uh, I'm married now three months, and I have a son, too. <laughs> you're, you're a fast worker, aren't oh, you? Oh, yeah. I'll get right in this thing. I want him to come out talking. <laughs> I have a son, he's two years old, he's great, and uh, I, 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 bought, I uh, was uh, delivered him. Oh, did you do that, uh, yeah. Lamaze? Uh... Yeah, I guess that's what they call it. Something was, like she that. She was awake, and there it was, and I was there, and the baby came out, Donnie, it was amazing. I mean, to see a baby when yeah. it comes out, I mean, he, he was like, he was beautiful, you know what I mean? He was all like, he was all white with stuff all on him, yeah. and green and, you know, <laughs> the, he was, man. When you I, first look at him, though, When I you mean... first look at him, you go, you know, I said, look, you got about two weeks, you got to get black. <laughs> Up, huh? That's right. Here, here, you hold him. <laughs> a lot of guys couldn't put up with that. I mean, put a lot of guys were going into the delivery room. You know, it's rather traumatic and... Um... No, but it was beautiful. It was uh, like I wasn't having the baby, so it didn't hurt me. Oh, I was, never I was of that. just amazed. I was amazed that women, women have that stuff in them, can have a child and look at you and go, ha, 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 ha. You know, they can do that and then talk to you, go, yes, and another thing, when you get the house, you will have a carpet on the... For the uh, <laughs> <laughs> they said if, if men, there's an old cliche, if men had to have the babies, there'd be a lot fewer children because women, oh, I guess, I think there would be better none. Able, be none? <laughs> <laughs> there wouldn't be any because man wouldn't put up, man would say, hey, oh, oh, quit. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, but you've been through a lot. Of, you've had a lot of pain in your life, physical pain, and you... But not you... like this different physical pain you can go, ouch, with... You know, I've had pain where you can go, oh, ah, he... You know, <laughs> but, but baby, she had this baby. Man, it was beautiful. She didn't say a word. She was just... <laughs> <laughs> she did have to do that. Did have to, yeah. <laughs> But aren't you supposed to kind of breathe uh, help with, with her? And... Yeah, well, I was there saying, well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well. So, all right, uh, okay. Yeah. It comes out, goes back. Come on! Yeah. Hey, you got a beautiful kid. Yes, yeah. you saw him, huh? Yeah. And I yeah, I love him. I got to go to New York and everything. We were alone, together. Me and him by ourselves. He can't stand me. <laughs> <laughs> he woke up. He said, Mommy. And I said, Mommy's not here. Uh. Oh, so it's me and you. Yeah. <laughs> and he likes my son early, early, you know, every yeah. morning, every morning, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> and you? Every morning, six o'clock in the morning, he comes and touches, you know, right. Daddy, poo poo. <laughs> and he wants you to go to the bathroom with him watching poo poo. Yeah, well. And kids that age, when they poo poo, they want applause. Poo <laughs> <laughs> poo! It's a big day in their life, That's you know. That's right. You're... Yeah, well, that's, I met your wife. She's a lovely lady. Thank now, you, Fl John. Flynn. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Do I have to give the presents back if I did divorce? <laughs> 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 you, you shouldn't be negative like that. I mean, we have both, both you and I have something in common. We have had uh, some unsuccessful uh, liaisons. Yes. Uh, say so, monsieur. <laughs> <laughs> When you do, you know what, what happened. We don't know. They say bye bye. <laughs> what do you mean you want the house and the car? Of course. <laughs> so, so you, uh, yeah, you know, right? And she don't tell no jokes either. I remember, your, remember that from your act. She don't tell no jokes. Uh, so you've had a lot to do with with, with lawyers and attorneys. J Johnny, yes. Yeah. And oh, Johnny, yes. <laughs> Uh, something about an attorney, I don't know what they do to them, I think, in the third year of law school. Yeah. They remove something. <laughs> they do. If you make it to the third year, they go, now you have to have this operation, <laughs> and we're going to pull it, take it out, and nobody will know it's gone except your mother. <laughs> and then you talk to them, like, you, you be talking to me like you have a legal problem. Talk yeah. To me, like um, well, I've had this problem, and there's, there's a the division of property uh, thing that we have to, uh, to discuss, and... Uh, <laughs> She, she would like, you know, to have these particular assets, and, and I feel that... Johnny, yes. stick to the facts, would you? Excuse me? The facts. The facts. Please. Well, I, I've been pretty broken up about this, and I feel that... The, That's emotional. I, I don't have time for that. I see. <laughs> I need the car. <laughs> you know, they get like that. They get cold and far away, and you want to... You say... I am getting the you know, And they don't care. They're like very calm, very cool. And then until something happens to them, uh -huh. then they go crazy. I have a lawyer. He got a divorce. He was on the phone every day. I'm getting divorced with my wife. And I know what you went through now. I do. I really know what you went through. It was awful. You don't understand what she's doing. To me. And then but, it's your turn to say, now yes. you're just being yeah. emotional I about it. I you being, yeah. you're overreacting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite term, you're overreacting. Oh, we'll take a short break. Don't don't go away. Come on back. I need the car. What the wonderful band, Doc and the Boys, playing your favorite melodies. An old favorite melody by Doc and the Boys. Hmm. <laughs> Where is Lawrence Welk from retirement, isn't he? Yes, sir, he is. Yeah. Somebody said the other day he's what, 83, 84 years old? Still going strong. Yeah. You gonna be going strong in 83? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Last time you were on the show, you were talking about, you brought up a name that I was not familiar with, because I'm not a car buff. A testa, no, I'm going to get oh. this right. Testa Rosa? Testa Rosa. A Ferrari Testa Rosa. That's a good car. Huh? I bought one. Uh, yeah. It's, see, see, they know. Some well, of them know about they it. They know man. about it. It's an amazing car if you're 23. <laughs> but I bought this car and it was like it took it possessed me it took over me Johnny I drove it to Vegas from here to Vegas I'm going back to Illinois right now it's 55 mile an hour 50, speed I, right? Johnny 55 miles an hour I was straight 55 one time I got to 60 once I got it to third gear once <laughs> and I went I was going 60 and I said call it call it got back down 55 and drove and the car was nice and calm 
till I got outside of Vegas. Uh -huh. And the car changed its personality. <laughs> it did. It said, look, you gonna go 55 or what? <laughs> Just if you, all you're gonna do is 55, pull over and get out. <laughs> did this, Jenna. Yeah. And I tried, and I start shifting these gears, and something happens to you when you have this kind of power under you. It just makes you crazy. It was like, I said, I saw this 200 miles an hour on the speedometer. I bought this car. I figured somebody buys a car, goes 200 miles an hour. You can't go anywhere in this country faster than 55. Somebody's stupid. <laughs> You know what I mean? So this so, is a five speed. Yes, Johnny, five, five. And I hit him, Johnny. I was going, so first gear, I was cool. Then, no, second gear, Johnny, I'm going. And I start hearing the cars as I pass them. And I'm in third gear. Oh, man, this is great. And I go to fourth, big four. Can see it all. and in my mind I'm saying let me catch somebody in the fast lane going slow now <laughs> and I hit the fifth gear and the thing went all up my legs Johnny all the juice oh it was nice it's all through my face oh, it was great and I said I feel like James Dean now and a voice in the back of my mind said didn't James Dean die in the car? I couldn't get my foot off the gas and make it stop. I was going, God, please, you didn't let me kill myself in the fire. Not in this car, please. Please. And I prayed my foot off the gas. And I couldn't even move my foot to put it on the brake or anything, right? And I just let it coast for about five miles. <laughs> Until it got down to 20. They know? say you got to blow the soot out of those once in a while. Well, hey, the soot was blown. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a car for you. You can hear that car coming about 10 miles away. It was right, that great. engine. Yeah, but Johnny, you know, the police, they try to catch you, bro. Yeah. And about five minutes later, a cop came by. Wow! And I said, he's after me. <laughs> and he turned around, made a 180. He turned around, he come back. He had a hat on, it was all sideways. <laughs> And his gun, his like his this. gun was all up his back, and, and he was a mess, you know, he was... <laughs> I damn near killed myself trying to catch you. <laughs> what is it? I said, it's Testarossa. Oh, yeah? And I showed him under the hood, man, and he took off his hat and went... <laughs> and trip you. Yes. So it was a lot of fun, but I, I don't drive it as much anymore. No, that's, uh, I mean, 55 is, I, I'm sure it saves lives. Yes. But nobody, if you drive in California, the, oh, come on, they, people change a tire at 55 here, you know. They'll, they'll go right over here. Anyway, that's a funny story. Anyway, your, your picture's a big hit, Critical Condition. Did you? And I'm glad, and I'd like to thank the people for making it number one last week. Yeah, thank that's you what very I hear. Much. Great. Yeah. It's hard to, you never know really when you make a picture, I mean, what's, what's going to happen? Right? No, we worked together, a good group of people, and it was fun working with them. I thought we were doing a good job, and we did a movie, and the critics saw it. They didn't like it at all. In fact, the critics said, if you go to it, we'll kill you. <laughs> well, they get in free anyway. The people who, who, who the people. lined up and go see it, they're the ones who make, uh, make or break a picture. Well, I was glad that they went. I'm yeah. Glad. We got a small little excerpt here. I think you're, it's a scene with the... Of a gentleman we've had here, a fighter, Randall Tex Cobb. Randy. Randy. Is... Yes, Randy scared everybody to death. He's a nice man, though. You know, you talk to Randy straight, you've got no problem. If you try to BS him, he's going to hurt you. Yeah. He... <laughs> Didn't he fight at one time, uh, Sonny, Le... Sonny Liston? Larry Holmes. Larry Holmes. Fifteen rounds with his face. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I had, right after that fight, I had uh, Randy on the show, and I said, a list, uh, uh, I said, at home seemed to have a, a, a longer reach than you. And, and Cobb said, you notice that too, huh? <laughs> I mean, he really, they really gave him a He's punching. He's got a funny thing about it. He's got a sense of humor yeah. about it. Anyway, we're gonna, here's, here's a little uh, piece of film from uh, Critical Condition. Watch the monitor. Oh, right ahead. Hey, got you something. Oh, thanks. Wow, who is she? Hey, this one. Oh, What'd the shrink say? The shrink said strike three, man. Man, they ain't gonna let you stay. They won't let me go. Boss, don't worry about it. They're gonna let you out of here sooner or later. I mean, you still think you're a black man, right? So get down, blood. Hey, get down, blood. <laughs> no problem. You're gonna be fine. You'll be home with this guy. He, you, he...
box. Look, the dog is on my bed. It's got this pillow. Look, the pillow. That's my pillow. You're just guarding it. He's not guarding the damn pillow. Hey, he's marking his territory. Marking my ass? I'm gonna mark his territory. Get your ass off my bed, Fido! I'm the Fido! Fido, 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 Here. He ain't no bad dog. Are you trying to eat me off? I was through lunch, man. Okay. <laughs> Oh, weird. That is funny. That's funny scene. That, uh, other gentleman, the, the other orderly was named Ruben Blade. Oh, yeah, Ruben Blade Singer. Yeah. Oh, he's great. He's been on the show a couple of times. He's yeah. a good, act, good natural actor, isn't yes, he? Yes, he is. Ruben Blade. Fun to work with. Okay, we'll take a break. The judge are with us and Dr. Robert Ballard. Film on the Titanic.